I'm Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the Movie Picks Guides to Adobe Premiere Elements and Adobe Photoshop Elements and Premiere Elements together. And here we are in version 14 of Photoshop Elements. Now, in the last couple generations of Photoshop Elements, Adobe has made a great effort to improve the ability to make selections. And as you know, selections are a very important aspect of uh, Photoshop Elements. It gives you tremendous power to isolate or to cut and paste. We have Buddy the dog here, and Buddy would be very nice to cut and paste into another picture. He has one challenge, though. As you can see along the edges, Buddy has a lot of ragged fur. And look at that tail in particular. See all the details in that tail. That's going to be very difficult to select. But let's go ahead and make a basic selection. I'm going to grab the magnetic tool, which is a very good tool for just following along color breaks. Don't worry if it's not too accurate. That's what the Refine Edge tools are all about. I'm just going to follow his basic shape here and let the magnetic tool do its work of following the color breaks. And again, it's a pretty sloppy selection, but as you can see, we've got the basics down here. So we've got Buddy selected along with his antlers. And now let's switch over to the Refine Edge tool. The Refine Edge tool was added in version 13 but there have been some improvements to it in version 14. So if we select the Refine Edge tool, and that shares space here with the magic wand and with the quick selection tools, it is this tool right here. And you notice when I select it and I select the push option, I get this circle with a minus sign in. Well, it's minus when it's outside the selection, it's plus when it's inside the selection. And I can shape my selection or refine my selection just by kind of nudging it. So when I'm outside, if I drag my mouse, you see that I can kind of push my selection inward a little bit and shape it so that we're more closely selected. There we go. So at those places where I was way outside the selection, this is great for pushing that selection in so that it's more closely aligned to the actual object I want to select. Now if I have uh, not enough selected, of course I can go inside the selection where I get the plus and there I can sort of push it out. And obviously you have size and strength, those kind of controls, so that you can get very, very precise. Now I'm going to intentionally under-select. In other words, there are parts of Buddy that I'm going to make a point of kind of uh, selecting within. Like particularly that tail, you notice uh, uh, his tail is very shaggy. I'm going to decrease the opacity on this so you can see it. There you go. His tail is very shaggy and I'm actually selecting or or unselecting parts of that tail. Any place where there's some extra hair, I want to make sure that I have not over-selected and have actually under-selected a little bit. Now once I've done that, now we can use the real magic tool. You notice in between the plus and the minus, if you hover, you get a little dot in the center of that circle. This is the new edge selection tool or refine edge tool. And if we paint with this little dot, we can actually get some very, very fine selection. Now watch what happens when I paint over Buddy's tail. You know what, so you can see it better, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to switch from the red view to on white. So now we can see uh, only what is selected in our picture. So again, I'm going to that little dot, and I'm going to go right along the edge of the selection. And as you can see, see how it makes sort of a spongy, sort of wet look in there? And I want that wet look to swell out the longer I hold the button, the more it swells to swell out so it's covering all of the little um, all the little fibers in Buddy's tail. When I let go, look at that. Look how precise that selection is. Let's do a little more here along the edge. Again, make sure you have the dot, not the plus or the minus. And we're just going to go along the edge and just kind of hold the mouse long enough so that it creates sort of a soaking selection outside to the edge of where all those little stray fibers, those little stray hairs are. And now when I let go, once again, the program has done a pretty good job here. Now you see we've over-selected or we've actually under-selected here along the tail. We'll fix that in a moment. But for right now, let's just focus on the edges. Just paint right along the edges here. And when I let go, the program does a great job of getting all those stray fibers. Now, you can see we've got an under-selection here. Some of Buddy's tail 
uh, is semi-transparent. It should not be. There I can fix that by going back to the plus area or the additional area. In other words, inside the selection, and I can push that out and fill in those areas that should not be semi-opaque. Now that is a pretty precise selection. I want to zoom in on that to show you. Look at that tail. We are getting individual fibers there in that tail. We may be getting a little too much. And again, I can shave that off if I want by using the refine selection tool. But the important thing is this program is actually making selections right down to the width of a dog hair, right? That's pretty, pretty amazing. Now, this would be a tremendously powerful tool if you, for instance, were trying to cut somebody out who had curly hair, uh, an animal, or some kind of um, natural formation that has a lot of fine details, uh, say palms in a palm tree, and the program will get in there and very, very precisely make those selections. That's some pretty amazing selecting, very precise selecting you can do now in version 14 of Photoshop Elements, a very, very cool selection tool.